and reporting on a lot of damage over there. Jerry, what you got now? Downtown uh, Chesley and uh, as you can see, Robinson Street here, trees down everywhere. We cannot get to Vernita White's home because it is buried under trees. But it is buried under trees. With car, uh, our cars are buried under trees. Um, there's power lines down everywhere. Last night there was a gas leak. We couldn't get through to the uh, 911. So everybody just tried to grab everybody on the street and we just walked off the street because we didn't know. It was live power lines and gas. So we just tried to grab everybody in the, on our street and just get them off. And you were asleep. Yes, I was asleep. Um, I heard I heard the, the wind, I heard the roaring, and I ran to my husband and we just grabbed each other and got in the hallway. And tree fell through through um through the house, on the roof, on the cars, but just glad we're alive that's all that we know and we're glad that there were no fatalities do you look at your home now what's left of it and think how did i make it out of there yes yes and miraculously when the tree fell it knocked over my tv and my pictures off the wall but my fishes still live <laughs> it's amazing when things like that happen yes and so happily those are the fishes that I had when my grandkids, when I lost my grandkids in a fire oh my gosh, seven, year, seven years ago. You have been through it. Yes. So, to be alive, I'm blessed. You certainly are. Where do you go from here? Um, just try to pick up the pieces that we have and just go on. I have my kids and I have my husband. We have family. So, and plus, we did have insurance. So, we should be okay, hopefully. But like I said, right now it's just hard to see. God bless you. You do have your life. You've got your husband. You've got your kids, as you say. So you've been through a lot. Yes. We'll be praying for you. Thank you. Thank you, Bernita. Thank you. Wow. Bernita White with quite a story there. Oh my goodness, she's been through a couple of uh, tragic losses that filled with grief. Again, this is Robinson Street. Well, the trucks have now pulled in front here, but there are just trees down everywhere. There are trees this way. Uh, Jefferson, can you swing around this way? You can see a home right there clipped by, uh, a, by a tree, a good-sized tree. They were over there with some chainsaws moments ago trying to cut that one up, and I guess it was just a little too much for them, but there's chainsaws this way. They're just crews everywhere out in this area, and a lot of traffic. The uh, Newton Police Department has asked folks to stay off the streets. Of course, a lot of people are out trying to, to get from one place to another, but there are some who are just out here uh, just to see the damage, and they're filling up the streets, and that's not a good thing. And police uh, have asked that, uh, that folks do their best to stay off the streets, just stay inside. Uh, all down Savannah Street right here. It's difficult for you to spin around that way, Jefferson, but if you can, you can see trees down in front yards, trees down in backyards. We're right here. You can see a pretty good size oak that's down. There's damage to that home. Now, Vernita's house, the woman that we were just speaking with, Jefferson, if you swing that way, she, her home, you see the home with the roof damage right there, and then you see the, the trees back behind it. Her home is on the street right back there. And uh, as of a little while ago, you could not get there because of the trees and power lines that are down. So that's the situation here in this part of Noonan. Again, we are just west of the downtown area. Downtown heavily damaged. There's a church just to my right that uh, most of the roof is gone and there's heavy damage inside, water damage, damage to, uh, well, just about everything in there, including musical instruments. And uh, talk to the minister a little bit earlier and he tells us that they just think it's a total loss it's not even worth trying to repair it so that's what folks are going through here chesley as uh, we continue to survey what's going on in this part of noonan all right jerry i noticed that the the activity is really starting to pick up where you are there's a lot of people out on the roads a lot of cars uh, uh out there as well are you seeing the people that are at least walking are they are the ones displaced from their homes some of them a uh, great many of them are folks who have uh lost their homes. Some others are folks who are here to help. Noonan is a tight-knit community. And uh, when things like this happen, uh, when someone suffers, usually the community gets together and they help. And in fact, that's what the pastor at the church was telling us, is that uh, even though there's damage to his church, 
he plans to go get a chainsaw and travel around and, and help members of his congregation as well as others as well as people he doesn't know in fact he had the chainsaw on the back of his truck as we were speaking to him so uh, that's just what happens here you hear the chainsaws they are roaring all around in fact my friend who was trying earlier to cut this big oak down he is back at it over there that is a big one fortunate that it didn't go directly into that home instead just kind of clipped the corner there but yeah a lot of people getting out chesley some of them just out here to look and that's what uh, noonan police want to avoid yeah i understand it under, very understandable jerry really appreciate that report thanks a lot wow you heard uh, a neat story there unbelievable and we're getting more and more